Hello, Kenneth Wong from Desktop Engineering Magazine here. Well, we are clearly in a new age with a new attitude to engineering. One of the noticeable changes is our attitude towards environmental impact. How our design decisions affect the air, water and ground around us. Do we really need to use that much energy? Can it be done with less? Can it cost less? This prompts design software makers like Autodesk to make sustainability part of the measures of product design. So let's have a look at Eco Materials Advisor, a component of the latest release of Autodesk Inventor Professional, part of Autodesk Product Design Suite 2012. Under the Environment tab in the software, you'll find Eco Materials Advisor. So you can launch the application here, then start by looking at materials and production processes assigned to different parts. Here, I'll take a look at this base plate. I'm going to isolate it first with a double click. Once you've got material and process properly assigned, you're ready to get some initial numbers with a first analysis. Let's start by doing that. Then we're going to use the numbers that we get from this analysis as the baseline. This will be the case we'll use to compare the rest of the cases that we built. Now I'm going back to my design to assign an alternative material to the same part. Once you do that, you also get a list of different manufacturing options associated with the new material. So I'll also go ahead and pick a new production method here. Once you've got a new material and a new process, you can update the dashboard to take a look at the water usage, energy usage, carbon footprint, and the cost of the materials involved. The search option for alternative materials are quite good. You can search by restricting carbon output, unit cost, energy use, tinsel strength, and so on. So you can keep switching to different materials and to different processes until you feel that you have struck the right balance between cost, water usage, carbon footprint, energy usage, and it also satisfied all the ROHS requirement and others that you feel your product needs to meet. Eco Materials Advisor in Autodesk Inventor is the base version, but if you'd like a more full-featured version, there is one that you can get, and that's the result of a partnership between Autodesk and Granta. Now let me make a few observations here. Eco Materials Advisor is similar to Sustainability Express in SolidWorks, a product from Autodesk rival Desso Systems. Sustainability Express gives you an easier way to also compare results of slightly different design variations. For example, the environmental impact of a shell part with different wall thickness. If you want to do that in Eco Materials Advisor, at least in this new version, you'll have to do it by running two different sessions. The current version is designed primarily for comparing the results of different material choices for the same geometric shape. We hope that it'll get easier in the future version of Eco Materials Advisor to compare results of different design shapes and geometry. Until next time, this is Kenneth Wong for Desktop Engineering Magazine, getting some quick advice from Eco Materials Advisor.